Today on, today on UI7 News Break, conditions at a Kane Farm County leads to further investigation. And the University of Illinois Best Buddies spread the word to end a specific word. Your UI7 News Break starts now. From the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio on the University of Illinois campus, UI7 News, your U of I news source. Animal control was recently called to a farm in Hampshire, Illinois. About 100 volunteers are helping Kane County animal control workers move horses, alpacas, and llamas from the farm. According to the sheriff's office, they discovered over 10 dead animals, including goats, chickens, and a donkey. Many other animals on the farm did not have food or water. The animals have been moved to an undisclosed location and are being nursed back to health. The animals may be available for adoption in a couple of weeks. They can be your pets or guide you through many things, but to a creative artist, dogs are both a tool and a friend. Art at the University of <laughs> Illinois YMCA was a really big day for Maria Lux as she expressed her love for dogs through artistic collages. Oohs and ahs filled the room as family and friends gathered around the art pieces. Invisible Fences is what she titled her work as she explains how, dog, how dogs activate political and social borders. Lux says her passion for dogs causes her to realize that they are a man's best friend and a tool for technology. Lux believes that though dogs tend to be our property, they are also our heroes. The art exhibit will remain open at the YMCA until April 6th. One lucky 16-year-old recently fulfilled his dream of becoming a sportscaster in St. Louis. Andrew Honorkamp shared highlights from the St. Louis University basketball game on Monday. The teenager who has cerebral palsy says he hopes to become a sportscaster full-time. Even though I have to maybe do something different, I, I like to accomplish everything that everybody Hunter Camp had the chance to help KDSK sportscaster Renee Knott write his scripts and also help the producers build the sports rundown. Friendships are an important part of most people's lives. University of Illinois' Best Buddies International helped those with disabilities make friends. U of I students and Champaign-Urbana residents laughed and danced as they spent time with their buddies. We pair individuals with disabilities in the community with college students, and then there's also one-to-one -one friendships. Those one-to-one -one pairs meet up outside on their own schedule and go to movies, ice cream, dinner, and just form friendships that really last a lifetime. Activities included coloring, singing, and dancing along the conga line. Ray Pennell says he's happy to be a part of the organization. Yeah, I am excited about Best Buddies going out for ice cream. Do I do? Though there were fun and games, the organization is uplifting people with disabilities by making a pledge. The word retarded is often used out of context, therefore... The Best Buddies pledge to end the R word. If everyone could just do us all a favor by ending the use of the R word and not using it in their everyday language. Um, it is so discriminatory. Best Buddies came up with a new word to replace the word retarded. Uh, our new wor R word that we like to use is respect. The organization allows participants like Kendall to forget his disability and just have fun. Everything I want to do, what I want to do in Best Buddies, what I can do in Best Buddies, what I In Urbana, I'm Nyasia Ellison, UI7 News Break. Women and men gathered at the Lincoln Hall Theater at the University of Illinois campus to honor African American women in the Champaign Urbana area. Black Women Rock is a registered student organization at the University of Illinois striving to inspire and honor African American women for their accomplishments. Black Women Rock recently hosted its first annual award ceremony. Cindy, Cindy Beasley is the president of the organization and says you can do anything you put your mind to. And sometimes we feel like we're not worthy or we're not capable of doing something, but tonight's show is to show everyone that we all have something that we can do. All we have to do is share them. Black Women Rock honored women with performances and giving awards to university students, alumni, and faculty members for their leadership and humanitarian achievements. Dr. Ali Watts Davis received the overall award for her contribution and inspiration to the community. Radio and TV personality Beyonce Fox says life is like driving a car. That wind and loop around, and there are major intersections, and then there are side streets. And finally, there are dead ends. 
the members of Black Women Rock want to shine a positive light on the black community. Sometimes the best way to be heard is to be silent. University of Illinois students organized a silent demonstration to bring attention to discrimination on campus. UI7 News breaks Carissa Townsend has more. African-American students taped their mouths shut to signify the silence of their voices. Demonstrators made signs and stood on the quad to make their voices heard or not. Yes, inclusive Illinois, but it's really not. I think it's kind of diverse Illinois, but it's not inclusive. U of I student Farida LeBaron says her employer sent an email saying he did not want an African-American working for him. I was being his personal assistant, and all this while I just thought he was just naturally mean. No, he just didn't want me working for him, and he couldn't voice that out. University students are sharing their experiences and are calling for action against the mistreatment of African Americans on campus. Fine, you can make your own. Like the protest being black at Illinois was prompted after a few controversial incidents on campus. There have been a few incidents last week that happened. One is that there's a Confederate flag hanging in the window of PAR, very huge and clear for everybody to see. Using the hashtag being black at Illinois, students use social media to make others aware. Demonstrators are hoping their voices are being heard by someone. Academic advisor Lou Turner says faculty members need to be educated. I think that there needs to be um, a, um, a tutorial, frankly, uh, for faculty administrators on African American history and sensitive sensitivity to uh, discrimination. Education is what students like LeBaron are hoping people will gain. LeBaron says the university is avoiding the issue. They don't give enough. In Urbana, I'm Carissa Townsend, UI7 Newsbreak. Historically, slavery has ended, but the men of impact at the University of Illinois think otherwise. The men of impact are dedicated to servicing the needs of the black men on campus. Their event, Same Slaves, New Chains, held at Florida Avenue Residence Hall, addressed the racial issues in the media and society today. The event was based on the lack of acknowledgement of the 1712 Willie Lynch letter. The self-titled letter tells how to properly train and control slaves. If done correctly, it will last for 300 years. Same Slaves New Change discussed the connection of the letter and the world blacks live in today. Along with discussing ethical issues, students were able to speak out and voice their opinions. That's all we have for this edition of UI7 Newsbreak. Be sure to join us next time and have a great day.